me get the end of the camera adjusted here. All right. Um, I'm gonna go through uh, testing this thing, checking up a couple of connections, and I thought I'd uh, put it up so everybody can see. Um, <clears throat> right now it is plugged in, but there's no power. Um, it kept blowing fuses earlier. I was doing some kind of a bounce thing with the relay, and I couldn't really figure out what was going on. Um, so I went to Radio Shack, and I got some... I got a, a bigger fuse holder in case I needed to go with the bigger fuses, uh, like automotive, but I picked up a uh, 15 amp, slow blow, 10 amp, 15 amp fast acting, and a smaller 10 amp uh, slow blow there for the uh, fuse housing that was our holder that was already here. And I put that in there and that seemed to have fixed that problem where it wouldn't blow the fuses. Uh, I've got I got the relay in. This one's it's the same thing, but this one's made by uh, a company called Dayton. Exact same thing. 10 amp uh, fuse, uh, what do you, relay rating in there. Um, so I got all that done. Let's see. First thing I'm going to do is check for continuity on my switch connector. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it. I've just got the multimeter set up for continuity. So, should hear a beep. Okay, that's good. Alright. <clears throat> Go to 200 volts. <coughs> um, switch it on. This LED right here should come on for main power. There's power for uh, the timer relay. So that's good. Alright, I've got this. Alright, so I should have here. And over here. Should give me. Okay, come on. Oh, wait, it has to be energized first so okay that's my neutral there so this one this one hmm why am I not getting is that right let's see that's neutral this is this one this is the hot wire. So, maybe it'll help if I do that. No. There you are. Huh. That's weird. Okay. There. Okay, something's got to be up with my multimeter here, because... Oh, wait a minute. No, that is right. Should be this one. Okay, one of these. I think it's the back one here. Should have a reading right there. Why don't I? Hmm. Very odd. This is strange, to say the least. Apparently it's working. I'm just not doing something right here, and this is just too damn early in the morning. Um, so there's that. 
This should. What in the hell? What's wrong with this thing? the problem the damn thing was on hold so try again I should have 115 at this contact I don't know if you guys can see that that's the number two side over load so So that's the one side of the relay. Okay. Now this side of the relay, I can't remember which side is the, uh, one or the other. But anyway, this side should give me 120, 110 when I hit the pedal. Or not. Okay, it's that side. So that side is live. Yeah, that's right. One, two, pass to there. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. There we go. Twenty on that side. Okay. Looks like everything is straight. Timer's working. Relay is working. <coughs> so all that crap is right. All right. There's one. Got both of these right here. Let me see, make sure you guys can see that. Alright, so got that working. Now we're gonna test. Ah, <clears throat> got a piece of uh, sheet metal. Oh, bear with me here. Cutting off a piece of sheet metal so I can see if this thing spot welds or not. Alright, first I'm going to check this guy. Um, Alright, everything's set to zero. I've got it set to 9.99 uh, seconds. One uh, single shot, one shot. In other words, it's gonna when I hit the pedal, it's gonna energize uh, for one cycle for the set time. This is the timer here, the buttons. Um, so I can hang on. There. All right. So one shot. Let's see. That should energize for, I think, one ten thousandth of a second or something like that. Yep. Looks about right. Alright, so, if I increase... Zero. So that should do nothing. That should give me a one second. There we go. While well, the light's flashing, it's on, so 1001, click, 1001, 1002, click. Okay, so that's working. All right. Um, I'm going to start with five, I believe that's, yeah, that's five tenths of a second on time. So... I'm using the old because I haven't made the other uh, what you call it, so uh, thingamajiggers yet. Um, welders. Um, once again, I bought the wrong stuff on eBay. Shit. Um, so I've got to find uh, 
Um, and the metal store was closed today, even though uh, the website says that they're open. That pissed me off, but what can one do? Um, at any rate, this is what came with it. I just rounded off the tips just a little bit. So, this should give me a half a second spot weld. One. That balance, that's what I was talking about earlier. It seems like the harder you push, the more it bounces. You have to kind of put a little bit of pressure on it, and it's fine. If you push too hard, then it tends to do that balance. So it's got something to do with the resistance of what's going on with how much pressure you're putting on it. You can see the whole damn thing flex when I hit it there. But... So, that's uh, one row, and that's half a second, basically. Um, what I'm trying to do is get the, the smallest uh, on time possible, because that's going to give me a lot more welds before the, uh, uh, the things get too hot to weld with anymore, and that doesn't look like it's coming apart. Holy crap. Hold on. Put it on my foot here. No, it's not coming apart. Uh, I don't know if you can, if you guys can see in there, but you can see where the welds. Hold on. You can see where the welds are. You know, the little beads right in there. You can see them. So that's not coming apart. Half a second, so I should get quite a few more welds um, with that. So, but at any rate, so that's done. Success. So I'll turn that off. Unplug this. But basically, this is what it ended up looking like in the end. So nice, clean setup. Heat sink on the relay. So I'm happy with it. All I need to do is put the temperature probe in there, which is going to go right across here. It's going to be. Uh, I'm going to have to get. A uh, AC to DC converter, which is also going to run off of the input, that's going to power the panel, and then it's going to have a K-type thermal, uh, K-type, a K thermal couple coming out of here, going down the leads up to the tongs, and it's got a washer that's going to slide over the end of the uh, the probe all the way down to the Delrin to get a measuring of the temperature right before the Delrin, so it doesn't get too hot. So I'll have a temperature display here, but at any rate. Good to go. <laughs> so, happy about that. Thank you for watching. Laters.